Iran faces a dilemma. How to respond to Israel's counterstrike on October 26 while navigating the unpredictable political waters of a new Trump administration. Reports from regime supporters in Tehran suggest Iran sees Trump of 2024 as a bigger threat. With a stronger political base and control of both the Senate and the House, the regime estimates he's learned from his first term. Some even believe Iran's alleged involvement in assassination attempts during the presidential campaign could influence Trump's decisions. His first term was marked by aggressive tactics, pulling out of the nuclear deal, targeting Qasem Soleimani in a drone strike, and reimposing crippling sanctions on oil that devastated Iran's economy. Trump's negotiation strategy of striking first and then forcing concessions from the other side sharply escalated U.S.-Iranian tensions. Today, Iran is weaker than in 2016. Sanctions have crippled the economy, and the aftermath of the October 7th war has severely weakened Iran's regional military and terror proxy forces. Tehran has fewer options to push back against U.S. pressure. Experts predict Trump will continue his aggressive approach, economic pressure, regional isolation, and the initiatives like the India-Middle East-Europe Economic Corridor, which is aimed at further isolating Iran from Europe and China. Some believe Iran's best hope lies in a U.S.-China confrontation that could shift Beijing closer to Tehran. Faced with this, Iran is reconsidering its options. Some in Iran are pushing for a communications channel with Trump directly, hoping to secure a good deal that could serve as a diplomatic win. The regime is also seeking to improve ties with Saudi Arabia, hoping a reconciliation might reduce Riyadh's influence against Iran. They also hope Trump will prioritize economic recovery and end the wars in Gaza and Lebanon, which could act as a break on his aggressive policies in the Middle East.